children hope you all are doing well this is miss kamni and hope you all are enjoying the theme related to antarctica so we are going to do all activities related to snow and today we are going to make play doh we are going to make play doh without cooking to build our fine motor skills let me tell you what all you need for this activity you need 1 cup of flour half cup of salt 1/4 cup of water white paint and some glitter so we are going to make a glittery paint here glittery play doh sorry we are going to make glittery play doh so let's get started so you need a bowl for that i have already measured 1 cup of flour half cup of salt 1/4 cup of water and i'm just going to show you how to do that don't forget to put on your gloves it's good that you can even use do this activity without putting on your gloves but if you want to if you wish to wear your gloves you can do so okay so let's get started so let's put one cup of flour first and then add salt and just mix them together okay and once you mix all of both of them together make sure they are mixed very well then we are going to add some water here and we are going to knead the dough so that we are able to bind all this together but before that i have to add white paint so that i can make like white color play doh yes you can put white paint in here if you don't have white paint it's fine you can still make it without the white paint and some glitter okay as you're making glittery play doh so let's see how do we get the consistency of this it's going to be it's really sticky but because i'm wearing my gloves i cannot feel that it's sticky but it's fun to do it and it's very good for your fine motor skills so you may feel it's very sticky so what you can do i have some extra flour here i'm just going to add some flour and then knead it so then it will not be sticky anymore okay okay and there you go you just go on kneading it it's so much fun and it helps you strengthen your finger muscles yes okay and you're almost there it's fun isn't it to make play doh okay and today we are going to follow the right recipe to make white play doh as we are learning about antarctica we are also learning how to make things related to this theme so this is representing like snow that's why we put white paint inside okay and you have to make sure you don't have any more salt or flour in your bowl yes and then you just knead it like that okay and just roll it with your hands roll it with your hands and if you want to make it more glittery we can add some more glitter and there it will be like the shiny shiny play doh and it will look like as if you're holding a snowball yes yeah and i'm having so much fun making it i'm sure even you're going to enjoy it okay now my white play doh no cook play doh see i did not cook it it's ready now i'm going to show you what you can do after this i'm going to just take a tray here and i am going to spread this over here or what i can do the best thing for this is just divide your dough into two parts okay or just take a small part we are going to make prints on this with different things so i have some metallic things over here i have a coin i have a key so we are going to see what kind of prints we are going to get on this just flatten the dough on the tray okay and then i'm going to use the key first to see what kind of print i'm going to get can you see oh i got the print of the key here let me try one more you see that is another one so i've got the print of the key here just keep it there this is just a fun activity 
If you want to use the same Play-Doh, you can roll it again. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll this one and I'm going to make prints of a cone. Okay, so I'm just going to flatten it here and I'm just going to try different things. Okay, so I'm going to use a comb and I'm going to try to get the prints of the comb on the Play-Doh. There you go. There you, there you see, I got the okay and that is my sorry because it's still not very ready you have to make it and just keep it in a plastic uh, bag then it will be like very hard yes you can make it that way and then let's try how even we can use cutters okay so i have some cutters here it's a fun activity whatever is available at home you can use that let me try a coin here okay you will get the prints of the coin here okay and then you can use cutters yeah that's a fairy i'm making a fairy so you see those are the activities that is the activity for today try it you'll have a lot of fun doing it and show me your creativity by using different things thank you